Welcome to Woodwork Therapy. In this video, we're gonna be showing the differences between a five watt laser and a 10 watt laser. This is gonna be showing how they cut, how they engrave, the speeds they can work with effectively, so on and so forth. So we're gonna be going over all of that. This is a video I've wanted to do for a really long time. Now that we got the 10 watt laser module in, we figured, hey, you know what? It's time. So let's go ahead and get started on that. And as you know, we don't just do laser stuff here, we do woodwork as well. So whether you're into woodworking or whether you're into laser work, we're gonna have a little bit of everything here. So as we are a DIY channel, so don't forget to like the video if you like it, subscribe to the channel if you're into that stuff, and uh, hit that bell notification icon for all of our newest videos. In the meantime, let's get burning. Okay, a few disclaimers before we get started. Number one, uh, lasers, even though they're listed as five watt and 10 watt, are not built the same. Uh, even amongst the same manufacturer, they may have slightly different performance differences between one and another. Uh, number two uh, is, is that different manufacturers also have a tendency to manufacture 5, 10, 20, and 40, and so on watt diode lasers slightly different. So again, you might see some different power as a result of that than what you see in our demonstration. Number three, the cleanliness of your laser directly affects your laser's performance. So we're gonna be working with lasers that have all been really thoroughly cleaned or coming straight out of a box. So ultimately they're gonna be super clean, so you're gonna be seeing their best performance. But keep in mind though that if your laser is dirty, your performance may vary. In essence, it's kind of a more or less mileage may vary kind of a statement. So let's keep that in mind and let's go on to our first topic. All right, with all that messiness out of the way, let's get on to our first topic. So our first topic on this one is gonna be showing off what the five watt laser can do. So let's get to it. Okay, so let's go on to showing like what the 5 watt laser was capable of. So let me go ahead and show you some shots of like what I have here in my hand. So the uh, 5 watt laser on 2 millimeter birch, I know I said one earlier in the video, it's actually 2 millimeter birch. Um, this one can theoretically uh, cut all the way through 2 millimeter birch at roughly 300 millimeters per second with a power of 80. Now, that being said, you're probably not gonna actually use that setting. You're probably gonna use a much more aggressive setting. I normally recommend whatever your test cuts at for that speed, add about one to two uh, power levels to it before you do an actual cut. The reason being is, is that when you're doing a square cut on here, which most things you're gonna cut on a laser are not gonna be square, uh, it's just, it doesn't work the same. I don't know how to explain that totally, but that's kind of the easy way to look at it. So generally 10, maybe 20% power more is suggested. Now, when we get down to the right side of the card where we're looking at uh, where we have our, kind of our grayscale burns in here, this kind of shows you kind of how we would do like a uh, solid object, right? So on this one, on the five watt, we're able to go and pull out at roughly around 5,000 at 90 is not too bad. I kind of like 5,000 at 100 a little bit better. I think that it gives a nice light uh, kind of a burn to it, but at the same time, the 90 is probably the best overall because the reason it gives a little bit more character to it. So it depends on like really what effect you're going for. Like for instance, if you wanted something that's a little bit more bleached out, but you wanted it really fast, I mean, really honestly, uh, 5,000 at 40 would actually do pretty good. And of course, like I said, this is just the five watt laser. Uh, so we'll go ahead and move on to the 10 watt laser here in our next one. And then we'll show you how that works. And uh, then we'll go over the card afterwards. So let's do this.
All right, so we got our 10 watt laser card. Let's go ahead and review it together. So I'm going to put those things back up on the screen here for you. All right, so on the 10 watt laser on the two millimeter birch, we're going to be looking at uh, 700 uh, millimeters per second on the speed with 100% power is the maximum possible cut that it can do. Again, in this case, since we can't go two up, I'm going to actually recommend on this one, actually probably bring the speed down a little bit and lower the power. And again, on this one, it's going to be primarily because the reason we want to reduce um, any, any smoke on the material, right? And a 10 watt's going to generate a fair amount of smoke. And if you don't have an air assist, you get the idea. Five watt's going to generate more because it takes it longer to cut through the material, but a 10 watt will still very much so create smoke. There's no doubt about that. So I would probably do on this one, probably I'd go for like a 500 at maybe right around about 70 or 80. I think that's a pretty good one. Um, yeah, if you wanted to get a little bit more speed and dump a little bit more power into it, maybe uh, 600 at 100. Uh, again, it's, it's all kind of controversial because you still got to go and kind of test it on a real object before you have a full idea, but this kind of gives us a basic idea of where we're at, and that's really what these cards are for. Um, as far as for uh, shading goes, we're talking 9,000 over 100 actually came out pretty darn good. Uh, there's a little bit of deviation in that, so bringing it down to uh, 8,000 over 100 would probably give a little bit of an extra touch, but it's going to darken it up a little bit more. So that's something to kind of keep in mind is, is that you could have a little bit of a miss where you kind of get a little bit of an aged look, but then at the same time also be a little bit lighter on the burn that might make the image look better depending upon like what you're working with. So that basically covers uh, the difference between a 5 watt and a 10 watt. Um, as we can see here, and I kind of wanted to throw this one last part in, is uh, when we're looking at burning, you definitely notice that difference though between the two devices where on a uh, 5 watt we can only get, you know, roughly into that 300 zone uh, before we kind of start petering out. Where on a uh, 10 watt, you know, we're getting up into this, you know, six, 700 zone here before we start really petering out and we have to kind of max out our power, right? So this kind of tells you about how much more efficient a 10 watt is over a five watt on base average. So just so I've been fair, it's base average. Um, and shading, uh, we definitely saw a little bit of an increase here. Uh, speed and quality kind of matched up as well. So we got roughly about double the result. If not in here, we got almost triple the result actually um, as far as the cuts, but for shading, we got probably about double the result. So um, that's pretty good. That, that's about roughly where we would expect it to be from a mathematical standpoint by adding in that extra five watts. So that is actually pretty cool to actually see that. So now we know, hey, you know what? This is probably about right roughly. So that's kind of where that goes. So. Let's go ahead and uh, let's, uh, yeah, move on from here. Okay, so now we got a chance to go ahead and see all of that put together. What do you think? Honestly, 10 watt was a pretty big winner, huh? That's what I thought too. So I hope you like it. Like I said, don't forget to like the video if you like it. Subscribe if you're into laser or woodworking. And hit that bell notification icon for all of our newest videos. In the meantime, stay safe in the shop and take care.